Now in this video, we're going to look at function 5 for this uh, relay here, programmable relay. So, not sure how well you can see it counting down there. Uh, I can see it perfectly fine in person, but uh, I'll turn down the lights. It's a little easier to see what's going on. So right now, we're at function 1. It counts down. The uh, relay stays off until it counts down. There's also a normally closed position. The LED would be on during that time, but it counts down and then the relay turns on. If you're in the normally open one, like I am, in this case, the load turned on. Whereas if you're in normally closed, the load would turn off. I have this capacitor at the rail here because if uh, you don't, it's easy for it to falsely trigger like that. And uh, the uh, capacitor, is wedged into the board so I'll deal with that later so now I'm controlling it with a 12 volt supply because it's a 12 volt relay there's also a reset but we power that directly the uh, relay does the rest right there the relay module I should say the load over here is a separate power supply so we could use even higher than 12 volts I'm using this 5 volt power supply just to show that it's a different power supply all that is is a switch right there none of this is energized by that uh, power supply. The power supply just uh, powers the module, but uh, the switch part of it is just internally within the relay. So let's zoom in, and we're going to set the relay to the uh, function five. So I'm gonna hold this down, and uh, we'll go up to five. So to begin with, we're just gonna lower this to one second to demonstrate it as the uh, second one. There's two timings and uh, we'll get to what this is later. This is actually uh, basically multiplies the amount of time of what we just set before. So that's the second one and that's the uh, first one. So we'll come to that. So I'm gonna hold down uh, set here and you can see it counts down and this is what it does. It alternates back and forth. So now relays are not really meant to be turned on and off this much. You would normally add more time. So we will hold the button and uh, uh, relays, they are got like 100,000 cycles that uh, according to the data sheet that it turns on and off. So you'd want to use a transistor version uh, if you're going to turn it on and off that much. But in case we can also hold down the uh, SW1 button here and you can see we got a decimal point. So let's do that with uh, both of them. Why not? And you're going to see it really uh, rapidly. So I'm holding down SW1. Now I'm going to hold down, there you can see, it's really rapidly flashing. So we don't want that, definitely don't want that, but uh, that's an option. So we can add 999 and then 0.9 or 9999, whatever we want. So we're going to get rid of those. So I have one second, one second, and actually we can change it from a second to five seconds for the countdown and in fact for this one I'm going to uh, bump these up to two right there so this first one will actually be two seconds and then the next one will be ten seconds but it will count down by two so let's hold down the uh, button and we'll see that so it's off until two seconds now you notice it's taken five seconds for each number to count down right there so that's what that fourth uh, option is right there to uh, make it a multiplier for these lower uh, number functions right here there's higher uh, number functions I believe nine and up that uh, it is the number of cycles so I haven't gotten to that yet but uh, apparently there's cycles later on so hopefully that all made sense I'm gonna go back to option number one set it to what it was when I got it, second timer, and then now for this, uh, basically it's a multiplier, but that's the number of seconds. It will be per countdown. So not only can you make this 9999 for 9,999 seconds, but you can e make each one of those countdowns take 99 seconds. So you can, uh, I think it's like 170 hours total that you can set the uh, time to. But in any case, that's all covered more in the data sheet. This is just a quick demonstration. So we're back to the uh, number one 
right there. And at any time, we can reset. Get it right back to the beginning, which is the same result as uh, turning the power off and uh, back on, right when you turn the uh, power back on. That's what the uh, reset does. So, uh, check out one of the other videos I'm posting on here. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.